Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to WWE 2K23 My Rise Mode. I am your host, Kenny Eastlick. This time, we're doing the women's story. To point out that very real truth. Were you nervous at all? I know I said I was going to delay, but nervous? Meh. I figured. Of course not. I had that match on lock. In fact, I was always calm, cool, and collected from my first day in the ring to my sixth championship victory. Like I said, I know I said, uh. What did I say? I was gonna delay this, but I figured at least get the first episode out of the way, you know? <laughs> Not better to do. Well, I mean, I got better things to do, but. The following is scheduled for one fall, and it's for the WWE Women's. Yeah, I don't see why they can't, uh, like, have these characters be unlocked. Like, they've got full rendered models, entrances, everything. Like, the possibility is just, like, endless there, you know? Huh, maybe a future update, because, I mean, they added a few people last year. I mean, it'd be nice, because, like, they put in the effort anyway, so they might as well make it to where we could use the said people. Oh. Ah, I didn't even recognize the music. I should feel bad about myself. And introducing the champion from Forest Lake, Minnesota, Molly Holly. But my fe female wrestler, I uh, created, I spent like a good couple hours trying to get it down. Is it just a win? Oh. I mean, I do like the original story. I'll give them that. But, yeah, let me unlock the characters, yo. How do I dodge again? No, I forgot how to dodge. Ow. Rude. Oh, crap. Oh, man. I forgot how to dodge. Hang on. Okay. I know. Nope, that's not it. There we go. Ah! Kind of the middle rope hit with the finisher. Well, I gotta build up the finisher first. Jeez. Ooh, that was kind of cool. See, like, in a... I guess the story will tell, I guess. Rude. It's a weird taunt, but okay. Also a weird taunt, but okay. Come on, get in the ring. When you see my created female character, the green is just ironic, like an ironic touch. Because, like, my character's got green. <laughs> uh, sorry, I did, uh, some green in the hair. Man, sooner game. Thank you. 
Here is your winner and the new WWE Women's Champion, Justine. Because then even in my universe mode, they'd make a great tag team, at least for a hot second. Watching my first title win again? No. <laughs> After you talked it up so much on your podcast this week, how can I not? Don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic match. I just figured you had it memorized by now. Sure, but it's a tradition at this point. Is it my favorite aunt? Only aunt. Watch your most epic victories. And now also stress about what I have to live up to in my debut at Survivor Series tomorrow night. <laughs> uh, why are you laughing? Oh, nothing. Just that if I didn't know better, I'd say you were nervous, which is super hilarious. Because I know that I didn't teach my favorite niece. Only niece? To be nervous about getting in the ring and doing what she does best. Yeah. Hey, look, Roddy Piper. Especially not when she's been trained by one of the biggest legends in the business. If I'm being honest, there's really no comparison. <laughs> you really do manage to turn everything into a compliment about yourself, don't you? Of course I do. I'm a six-time women's champion. It would have been ten if my career hadn't been cut short by injury. I get it. A main eventer and Hall of Famer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who had the top merch sales in the 2003 fiscal year. Okay, you've made your point. I should get ready for tomorrow. That's my girl. As the mystery SmackDown competitor, shouldn't I have been shuttled in secretly or something? The whole golf cart with the black sheets get up? Don't worry about it. No one knows who you are. Burn. Yet, no one knows who you are yet. Hello, lady. Tom. Justine. And LJ, too? It's so good to see you both. Same here, Tom. Wait, do you even still go by LJ? Man, it was always a hoot and a half having you backstage when you were a kid. Oh, okay, I get little Justine. <laughs> Justine's gear, being her shadow, her little Justine. But suppose you're not eight anymore, huh? It's fine. But I am trying to get known on my own here. I've heard. Good thing you're debuting tonight. The secret's pretty much out backstage. A few more hours, and it'd be out to the entire WWE universe. You doing something here tonight too, Justine? Nope, just here to support my niece's big moment. Come on. Surely you'll find some way to steal the spotlight. <sighs> Molly. Justine. Wow, oh, it seems like I this one the act was kind of phoned in at I, first. I better go check on the, uh, yeah, I got no good reason. But compared but to the mountains, now. but. I heard you were working backstage these days. Beat sitting at home, talking to the internet. It's called a podcast, and it's very popular. But I'm not here to resurrect old rivalries. Would you really call it a rivalry if there's a clear conclusion and undisputed winner? I was actually here to greet our newest WWE superstar. Wish her luck. She doesn't need luck. And let her know that I'll be working with her to get her ready for her Survivor Series debut this evening. Is that all right? No. I would say so. That's great. I'm so excited to be here representing Team SmackDown. Great. Get settled and then let's talk. Justine. Please don't make things more difficult for me on my first day. Besides, you two were friends once. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. It's just, well, you know what she did. It might be ancient history and there's no reason for her to mess with you, but be careful with Molly, okay? I'm gonna go say hello to people. You all right? I'm all right. I'm ready. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I love you, kid. You'll do great. That lady's watching. It's creepy. Okay, who's my name? Blah, blah, blah. We'll be seeing Rob, Michelle, Ray, Blaine, and Bailey, or Team Spike the Alphabet, and their mystery competitor. Okay, there's already a lot. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me go, let me go through. <laughs> Tonight is my tw my 23rd WWE Premium Live event. I'm so excited. I'll be the one you're in the room. Everybody there is in a t shirt, man. Of course. 
Oh yeah, sure, give it away. All my DMs are empty. Typical. Charlotte. Bianca. Lady. Let's talk to Charlotte first, I guess. I hope you don't think we're going to be friends. I certainly won't be taking it easy on you tonight. That's fine. Why would you think I'd want to be friends with you? <laughs> because we both come from famous WWE lineage. But let's be real. We're not the same. Sorry if I offended you in some way. Ugh. I have a lot of respect for your aunt. You, not so much. You're only oh, yeah. here because you're cashing in on her legacy. But do your best not to make all of us second generation superstars look bad, okay? Though it's gonna be hard tonight when you're competing against me and the rest of Team Raw. Game on. Let's talk to this lady. Hi, I'm... LJ, little Justine. Yeah, I overheard. Oh, precious. Yeah. I was actually going to say I recognize you from NXT 2.0. Ava Moreno, right? You had some great matches with Cora Jade. I didn't realize you had gotten drafted to SmackDown. Guess your famous WWE legend aunt hasn't been able to get you up to speed on everything. Honestly, we've been pretty busy prepping for my debut. I'm a little out of the loop on everything else. Who's your match with tonight? I wish you have a match on the show tonight. Not all of us are able to skip the line, LJ. Ooh, I got a rifle. Did I do something wrong? What's with the attitude? Let me lay it out for you. A girl named Ava works her whole life to be the best athlete she can be. Excels at some things naturally, puts in the time to get better at the rest. Gets signed to WWE, continues to grind at the Performance Center doing everything the WWE way. Makes a mark on NXT 2.0, wins also, the matches, the and gets signed to Smash generated the name. Sounds pretty great, right? Yeah, sounds like it. Some of us work hard. Some of us work harder. And some of us, LJ, get to waltz into Survivor Series and get put into a match that the rest of us, those of us who have done everything by the book, would kill for. Yeah, that just means don't squander it. It does sound unfair, but I'm good at this. I got here on my own. <laughs> got here on your own? We'll see what happens tonight. Maybe you are good, and you'll prove that. Regardless, I haven't been given the same opportunity on this brand to prove how good I am. So excuse me if I don't play nice with little Justine, the legacy hire. Let's talk to Bianca. Hey, nice to finally meet the EST of WWE. What? Isn't that you? <laughs> As in new S superstar in WWE. Ready to show Team Raw what's up tonight? Sure. You know it. That's exactly what woo, I'm here woo, to woo. do. Oh. Now that's the confidence I like to hear. And remember, the rest of Team SmackDown has your back. Although, ideally, we would have at least met each other to get on the same page before today. Yeah, Apologies. they said they were really trying to keep my debut a secret. I get it. I mean, the WWE Universe is going to lose their minds when they realize you're related to Justine. And don't think I'm not going to fangirl out and grill you after we win. You gotta tell me exactly what she's like. Cocky. Arrogant. Listen, I love my aunt. I even spent summers traveling with her on tour growing up. But it's important for me to make my own mark in WWE. Hopefully I can do that tonight. You know the EST is all about standing out, so I understand completely. See you out there tonight. We got this. Excellent. Audrey. Sorry I wasn't able to check in with you sooner. It's always nuts backstage before a major show. And I lost a full 20 minutes to Happy Corbin, who wanted to practice a stand-up routine on me. Luckily, Xia Lee overheard and protected me from his bad jokes. How are you doing? 
feeling good about tonight? You know it. Is it weird that I'm a little nervous? I've trained my whole life for this, but to actually be here debuting in WWE, it's a lot. Honestly, I'd be concerned if you weren't a little nervous. It means you're taking this seriously, and my job is to help you succeed. Despite my history with your aunt, that's really my goal here. You guys have some history, huh? That's a conversation for another day. Stick around here long enough, and you'll have history with everyone. Alliances, rivalries, heck, we even have our fair share of weddings. <laughs> Although those rarely seem to work out. But let's talk about your debut. I've got your custom gear ready. Custom gear? What do you mean? Honestly, I get it. I wouldn't want to debut in it either. No, I mean I have no idea what you're talking about. Huh. Not sure how this didn't get to you. But WWE management asked that you debut in a look that honors Justine's legacy. So they've made gear inspired by what your aunt wore when she won That's her first championship. Well. Not that that specific match would be the moment I'd choose to commemorate. Justine got lucky. But I brought my own gear. I designed it myself. Besides, I'm not sure if I want to use my aunt's image to establish my own. I want to make my own mark. Listen, despite my personal feelings, it never hurts to get a rub from a WWE legend. It's also probably not wise to go against management on day one. Yeah, we know that. But I know it's important to stand on your own two feet around here. Ultimately, the decision is yours. What do you want to do? Mm. I get where they're going with that, but gotta I make that a mark. I love my aunt, and she taught me a lot. But if I'm going to make it here, I need to make my own mark. I'm going to wear the gear I designed. All right. We'll see how management reacts. Standing your ground can really go either way around here. But if you're determined to make your own mark, you better have the performance out there to back it up. Go get changed. It's go time. Make that debut. Hold on tight, we're about to witness one of the most anticipated Survivor Series matches in years. And one of the most anticipated <laughs> debuts in years. Okay, good, that works. The <laughs> superstar could be the second coming of her legendary Hall of Fame aunt, Justine. Don't get your hopes up, Saxton. By the looks of it, I'd say this rookie's here to play her own trend. Yeah. Discouraging results for Ripley right here. Ripley needs to be resourceful. Find an opening and some effective offense with that one. That was a showing of control and aggression. Hey, yeah, I got it. I got it. Kick to the midsection. She certainly has the confidence of her aunt. Looks like she's setting up for the Justine Jammer. She's putting her own mark on an old classic. Not if Charlotte Flair has anything ah. to say about it. You only have one chance to make a first impression, and this one might include a hurt ankle. And That's like an well. advantage. Rip time. Cover by Ripley. Hey, it's Storm starting outside my room. With the elimination, Team Raw now has the advantage. What a letdown for the Blue Squad. She definitely didn't expect to be out so early in this match. The top rope mishap and apparent ankle injury played a key role in that. And it looks like Charlotte Flair is determined to add insult to injury. Wait a minute. Hall of Famer Justine is here. We have a mm, that's going to look so WWE good. It's going and bad. One thing is clear. The WWE Universe is thrilled to see this venerated six-time women's champion here tonight in any circumstance. And it looks like Justine is just as thrilled to see them. Things might not have turned out how she wanted for her niece, but she's loving this crowd. I'm just hoping that Justine can get her niece on the right track. Yeah. After this debut, she certainly needs some guidance. Yeah, because it's totally my fault things went badly. Ah-ha. Ah. Totally not gonna go well. Molly Holly, Justine, Liv Morgan. Let's start with Liv Morgan. What was that about? I like to show off as much as the next person, but that was embarrassing. True. Sorry. I understand why you're upset, but I did my best. 
You grew up learning from one of the most talented WWE legends in history, and that's your best? I did a better job teaching myself in my backyard. Don't expect this to blow over with the SmackDown Women's Locker Room. The Raw women are gonna rub this loss in our faces for a long time. Yeah, let's talk about Hell next. I can't say that was the debut we were hoping for. Yeah. I don't know what happened out there. I wanted to make a name for myself based on my own talent. And you decided to do something showy. Took your eyes off of what was happening and let Charlotte blindside you. I'm sorry. I won't let it happen again. I got carried away. You did. Remember, you're here because you're good. And you could be great. I wouldn't have any patience for Justine's brat, no talent niece. But don't expect everything to come all at once. You could have gone out there and had a solid match, and that would have been enough, win or lose. But you bit off more than you could chew. Maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. I'm a WWE legend. I'll do my best at damage control. You're already off to a rough start with management. They weren't thrilled that you decided against wearing the tribute gear. Although, maybe I can spin that, since it wasn't exactly the performance they would have wanted to be associated with Justine's legacy. Actually worked out for the best. Exactly. Oh, they'll just associate it with little old me. Already seen the chatter on social media. Great! You're worried about social media at a time like this? Get your head in the game. I'll see you at SmackDown, and we'll take it from there. This is gonna end well. Did you hear that pop? What? The sound of my ankle popping or my career imploding? Oh, how is that ankle? Or more importantly, how's that ego? Why don't you check okay. your ego? Ego? That's another story. You really went for it out there, huh? Didn't hold back? I'm the niece of one of the most venerated WWE legends of all time. I needed to make my own mark and stand out. I still do. You need to take your time and not overthink this. But you're still learning, and regardless, Charlotte acted out of line. If I was medically cleared for in-ring action, I would put the queen in her place. Believe me, I'm mad about it. But I'm not sure that Charlotte did anything you wouldn't have done. Very true. Yeah, but one of the perks of having a career-ending injury is getting to apply unrealistic standards on the next generation. Why do you think I liked training you so much? Right. Because you have an ego. Listen, I don't want to leave if you need to talk, but I got word that WWE management wants to chat before we head out. Something about the buzz online, whatever that means. You okay? If anyone yeah. taught me how to be resilient, it's you. I'm fine. I'll talk to you later. That's my girl. I'll find you in a bit. Hmm. Actually, that's a good stopping point. So that is all the time I have for this episode. So that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you see more of the Ruby 2K23 My Res Mode. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to get that notification. And I will see you guys.